And I love passion and purity, but I want the help because I sat here tonight and I wrote four things. A lot of people don't know I can do anything that God wants me to do. God yes. has graced me with this word. Everything has been drained down. Any gift God called for, I, I, he can come because right. I know how he has graced me. Yes. But I need help. There's a nation calling. A nation calling. Schools are calling. Churches are calling. Community are calling. Right now, I mean, the work is so great. But guess what? God is able. So I don't think all God is looking for is the right spirit. You see, have you, if you have the right spirit, if you don't have a spirit of arrogance, if you have a spirit of love with this truth, it's sliding like butter. We went to Westwood for our camp, the Methodist camp, and guess what? We just got down there. We never planned to stay. They just roll out saying, stay till morning. So we had to stay till morning, and even 12 o'clock. And by the way, when we go to these places, it is not the kids who are breaking down. It's the teachers, it's the pastors, it's the head of the norms rolling and crying out to God. Heads of the norms. God is moving saints. Get your house in order. It's time to go. For me, I said, I said coming from, because what happened, Doc, too, as we go places, Church, individual churches, the mantle that is on Andrews to help to set things in order. And that church, that Somerset in the hill of St. Thomas, he just stopped under the power of the Holy Spirit and just did some things in terms of what was happening in church, in that church, that pastor just, it's like, it's, and it's a ripple effect that is happening. So for me, <coughs> when I go places, people know that I come from Bible teachers. I don't hide where I am. But guess what? With what is happening, we need help, structured help, to go forward. Young people who understand what passion and purity is, because guess what? If you understand what it is when you go in, you realize that it's nothing more than what we are being trained to do. Mm -hmm. Christ. I think that... Um, we have waited a long time. Um, we have been in the quiver. And um, I have a responsibility as an apostle. I have a responsibility to the body of Christ. And um, one of the things that, that I'm instructed to do in, in um, going forth with, let us say, conference teams. You know, I was talking about putting conference teams together. The thing that God has instructed me to do, and he's going to work this too, uh, is to develop relationships with pastors. It's time now to develop those relationships. Um, that's why uh, when I say a conference team, everybody on that team, some will be teachers or preachers or whatever, but there are also some that will be administrators that, that have an agenda when they come, come in with us. Uh, I want to develop a relationship with pastors because there are a lot of pastors that when they hear this word, they're going to know it's God. They're going to know it's God. It, it, it doesn't matter whether they feel like God called a woman to preach or not and all of that foolishness. It doesn't even, that doesn't even matter. The word is sufficient. And when they hear that word, they're going to know now God had to give her that or God had to give him that, or whoever's bringing that word, and they're going to want to know more. They're going to want to know more, and I, I want to go in with the intent of developing a relationship. Uh, not, not so much as them having to become Bible teachers, no, but to bring them inside of our spiritual umbrella to where we can be that, that uh, we can have a link with them. They, they can be uh, fed spiritually through this ministry. I want to keep those, relate. I want to develop relationships. That's what I was called to do. And so um, we're, we're going to train teams uh, and, and in those teams will be trained diplomats. Uh, we have what is called um, protocol and a protocol manual. And uh, that's Johnny May heads that up and she's she's going to be training or, or designate someone here to train in protocol. So to, to be our ambassador working with the pastors, 
working with them. Johnny May is an expert at that, and I'm sure that there are some people here that can probably do things like that, like Sandra and different ones, <laughs> amen, that can be diplomatic with the pastors because we want to go in lowly. We, we don't want to go in like, hey, we the big dogs and we know what we're doing and y'all need us. No, we don't want to go in like that. We want to train people how to, how to talk to pastors, how to deal with pastors, how to keep a low profile, you know, and esteem that pastor, esteem him, you know, and uh, to, to, to win a friend, you got to show yourself friendly. And so, but we weren't ready for that. We're just now getting ready for it. Uh, we didn't have a completed revelation of Christ. Now we have it. And so now is the time for that, to develop those relationships. And I see uh, Passion and Purity as one of those entities, one of those platforms that God has developed to help us do that. To help us do that because, like you said, Passion and Purity has a name already. And it's a respected name. And so we're going to ride on that. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go in with that. And uh, I don't want your heart to be troubled, amen. Whatever is needed, amen, we, we, we're going to make sure it happens, amen. Yes, ma'am. Just a question on communication. Um, just as you said that, you know, you're going to be communicating by email, if the church could, the local church could have like a notice board oh, on yes. the website, because okay. you know so many things going to be happening to you know to be trying to keep up with this. Because take for instance, I wasn't here on Sunday, and uh, I didn't know there was no leadership. I didn't know that there was a members meeting today. When you know me, one could just go to a notice board Good. and get all of that sort of information. You got that? Yes, ma'am. You'll have a you'll have a notice board up there tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you heard that, Daniel? <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. Amen. That is so true. That is, that, I don't know why we don't have a notice for it. That's real. Amen. Thank you. Question. I saw a hand in the back, back there somewhere. Somebody had a question back there? Pat, we're going to put you to work. Pat Ryan, God didn't bring you back here for you not to work now. All that, all that training you got, I know you ready to work. <laughs> yes, sir. How do you, or who do you go to to get involved? I mean, if, you, if your heart is where it is now and you want to get involved in all of what's happening. Well, this is what I want you to do. What I want everybody to do tonight I want you to write down your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address. Make sure I have your email address. I want you to write it down tonight, and then I want you to write underneath that. What is it God is telling you to do? What is it you believe your gift is? And what would you like to be involved in? I want, I want that from everybody here. And if it's administration, I need some people in administration. I really need some people in administration. Who was it that I'm supposed to see about? I'm supposed to see you. IT? IT. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we, they're going to it. Yes, they're going to get you some paper. Um, do we have any other? Um, where is um, Renee is back there? Yes. Do we have any people that want to learn Photoshop? Please raise your hand if you want to learn Photoshop, because I need some Photoshop people. Now, if you're not serious, don't, don't raise your hand. But if you are serious, Renee, you see this? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, eleven people want to learn Photoshop. Will you train them? Yes. <laughs> because we need, we need graphic artists and we, we need people that can, can do that kind of stuff. And uh, Renee is heading up our graphic design department. And uh, which if you want to do, if you want to learn Photoshop, now this has, if you want to learn Photoshop, put that on your thing. 
on your thing. Make sure you got an email address. If you don't have an email address, say, I don't have one, but I would like to have one. We will assign you one. And we'll, get, we'll let you know. We'll sign one at Mary Banks at, I mean, uh, whatever your name is, at MaryBanks.net. Question? What if you already know um, Photoshop? If you already know Photoshop, I need you. Where have you been? <laughs> you already know Photoshop? You ready to work? Okay, great. <laughs> it's about 10 of them. I, we really need you guys right away. Hugh, you want to learn? Amen. And I hear Renee is an excellent t trainer. Excellent teacher. I want to learn Photoshop. <laughs> but they won't let me learn. They have forbidden me to learn anything else. They say I can't pick up nothing but a Bible. <laughs> and I mean, they are, they, they really, I wanted my windows open today and she closed them. And, they, and I couldn't do nothing. Please, those of you that want to learn Photoshop, please make sure that, now, uh, see, you can't write their names out. They got to give us their email addresses. Okay. Everybody in here, write down your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address. Make sure we have your email address because some of the email addresses that we have are not correct. And if some of the phone numbers we have for you are not correct. I want to be able to contact my people. So if I want to contact you, I want to be able to contact you. Yes, ma'am. Shh, shh, shh. Say what now? Well, um, I need um, clerical help. I need uh, data entry people. I need, um, what else I need? I need, huh? I need uh, people to work with BTTI, B huh? BTTI, BTBN, um, administration though. You know, like uh, uh, like I said, data entry, software people, um, organize. Yeah, uh, people that 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 know how to organize things, stuff like that. Uh, Saints. I need you to step forward in these areas because we're coming close to, we're coming very close to Antichrist. We only have this small window left to preach the gospel. I need to be free to do that. I need to be free to train you. I don't need to be bogged down in administration. Get me out of administration. I need to be free to preach, teach, and train. That's what I do. That's what I was called to do. So please, you know, step forward. If, if there's any, anything that you really want to be involved in, let me know what it is, and I'll see to it that you get into it. Any other questions? I'm sorry? What is Photoshop? <laughs> Photoshop is a... Um, is a software uh, produced by Adobe that uh, you take photographs, like photography. Uh, you can take, uh, you can take, this was done in Photoshop as far as, well, let's see. You know, you've seen pictures, this is not a very good illustration, but like you see pictures, you can take a raw, raw footage and you can make it look really, really nice. You know, sometimes when I look so gorgeous on pictures, it's because it's been through Photoshop. <laughs> you, know, you know, anytime you want to take off 10 pounds, you know, you just go through Photoshop. <laughs> questions? Any questions? Any comments? Pastors? Pastor Sam? Anything? Pastor George? Pastor Glenn? You're glad I'm going to do crusades. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do y'all remember the crusade we had in Brownstown yes. years ago? Yes. Very effective. Yes, Pastor Norman. I think, um, I don't know how many people have access to email on a very regular basis sometimes. I was just wondering if 
We probably shouldn't have a, like a phone text. Um, a text. Well, if they give me their phone That's number. That's the number one way I think we communicate with most people. <laughs> if they give me their phone number, if, if they write on the paper, I don't have an email, I don't have access to a computer. That's what the problem is sometimes. People don't have computers. So if you put on there, I don't have access to a computer, but my phone number is thus and so, we can text you. Um, also, shh, shh, our first, one of our, uh, we have a, a youth advance, which is a form of a crusade that is going, the revival is going to be in Ocho Rios starting tomorrow night. Is that right? Friday, Friday night. Tonight, what's the name? Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Starting Friday night, we have a, we have a revival in Ocho Rios, um, Friday night and all day Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday morning and Saturday evening. Um, the young people, as many young people as possible, need to go down there to support that. And um, uh, Pastor Kareem is going to be heading up that revival, him and Ernest and them, and uh, I think Keith and those, and Kamani. Kamani, you're going right? Amen. They're going to be preaching down there, so we want as many young people to go as possible. But... Some of these young people don't have transportation, and I hear our bus is down. So we need some people to go with that have cars that can carry some folks. Anybody got a car that's going down that can carry somebody? Anybody going down with cars? Okay, we got one back there. Who is that? Who is that? Huh? Patricia. That's Patricia, right? Is that Pat? Is that Patricia? You going down? I can't hear you. You got three people you're taking down? Okay. Anybody else taking anybody? Anybody else going down? Yes, sir. You taking anybody, uh, Pastor Barrett? Um, evangelist? Okay, very good. You have what now? You have some more room for in the trunk. In the truck. Open air. You mean like sitting on the back of a pickup truck? Open air. Isn't that kind of rough coming back in the nighttime? That's kind of that's kind of rough, and it's a little dangerous. I don't I don't think we want to put those guys on the back of the truck. I don't know I don't know if that's what you guys do I you know, you do you that's that what you guys do? It's not legal? Oh no. Oh geez. Okay. You can't sit on the edge, you can sit inside. Uh oh. Oh, uh, okay. Anybody else can drive down? Anybody else can drive down? You got a car? Yes, ma'am, who is that? Who is that over there raising their hand? Oh, that's Keitha. She got a little car now, she can drive. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you, the, the preacher probably ride, be riding with you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Anyone else? If, you, if, you, if you're planning on going or if you want to send your car down and with some transportation or something for some of these young people, see Pastor Kareem, please, or, uh, yeah, or Keitha. Oh, yes, another area that we do need people in is marketing. Does anybody know anything about marketing? Like we want people to work social media. Oh, yeah, Pastor Flowers, he works marketing for everybody but BT. <laughs> you, know, you, you know I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 
we wanted, we, Pastor Flowers, we really need some help with our marketing. Um, see, see, Pastor Flowers has been working for these big companies, you know, like Coca-Cola and all of them. And, and he doesn't know how to work for people that don't have a budget. <laughs> you know, he, he's used to working for people that got these big budgets. <laughs> Please come and show us something. Help us. We, and we need some people that's willing to, some people that's willing to work social media. Some of you young people can work social media. Hello? Yeah. We, need some, we need some social media people um, that, that will work with us now. So you're, 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 you're Photoshop, what's your name? Shanice. Would you please get in touch with Renee and let her know? Go Renee, flowers. Um, because we need, I need you to get started right away. We, need, we, need, we got stuff that we need done right away. Any webmasters, anybody that knows how to work the web? You know, you're not, okay, so good. That's my webmaster right there. See, she, she knows um, Photoshop and she knows how to work the web. Shanice. Yes, uh, Sharon Yap Chong is the, um, head of MBM Global Conferences, so that makes her our event manager. And I do need some people to work with Sharon to help us organize events. When we have these events, I need, I need her staff to be increased. Um, do, who are our PSAs? Who are they? Raise your hand, PSAs. Would you stand up, PSAs? I need you to stand up. Sharon, see these people, these PSAs? I want you to utilize, help utilize, use some of these people to work, to help y'all hear from Sharon. I want her to, she needs some people to help her with organizing the events themselves. Amen? So, it, it, those of you, <laughs> because PSAs got to be visible now. PSAs are, uh, are not just for cooking. PSAs are to help us do um, um, what you call that stuff? Registrations and all of that kind of stuff. All the help that Sharon needs. All the PSAs, see Sharon and give her your name and, your, and the way to, for her to contact you so she'll know that I got some people working with me. Amen. Any other questions? So every event that we're having on this side, Sharon, you're responsible for getting it organized. Okay. Anyone else? Pastor Leverage, anything you want to add? Right, so so um, the ministry is moving forward and we, the ministry needs the energy and talent and time, commitment, support of all of the members. And I'm hearing situations where most of us will have to be involved in multiple things. Yes. And so in setting um, the agenda, I think we need to probably even from now consider some uh, deadlines or like I'm thinking for instance like Daniel's Den, uh, you are projecting that in November um, this to December, you want that perfected. Mm -hmm. That's just a short time away. Right. It is. So throwing that out now and just leaving it there, I think we really should nail down when should we be meeting um, soon after now. Sunday we'll have a schedule for On rehearsals. Sunday. Excellent. We'll have a schedule for rehearsals Sunday um, for Daniel's Den. Hopefully by Sunday we'll also have the venue. I need to I need to make sure I line up the venue for it. Once I get the venue, I'm, I hit the ground run, running. Um, the 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 other thing, the last thing, and the most important thing that God has spoken to me about this ministry, Bible Teachers in International, we must begin to fast. We're not fasting enough. Okay. We have to fast because fasting makes us sensitive to the presence of God in us. 
Um, I'm going to take the ministry up on a, on a fast, a short fast, initially. Um, instead of taking you on a two-week fast, 14 days and nights, without food um, or drink, other than water. Before we do that, I'm going to start you off very slowly, two days at a time. Two days at a time. I want you to get used to fasting. I want us to get used to it. So um, Dr. Leverage and I talked about it last night. We're going to give you a, uh, at least a two-week notice so you can prepare yourself. Because when we fast, we want to come into the church as much as possible. We want to shut in. Amen? We want to shut in as much as we can, so we'll probably end up doing it on a weekend so that you don't have to go to work, you know, that next day, you know, maybe on a Friday, and come into the church that Friday and leave out, you know, Sunday night or something like that, a Saturday night. But um, make sure that, you know, when you, that you respond when I, when I send out the notice. And that's another thing, too. Saints, you want to know what's going on, you got to get your emails addresses because that's how I communicate. Amen. And as she said, we will have a notice board up. Daniel will have it up on the website. Amen. So we'll know what's going on. People will know what's happening. Any other questions? How do you guys feel about the ministry? <laughs> how do y'all feel about Bible teachers? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm, I love Bible teachers. <laughs> I love Bible teachers. Amen. And I love what God is doing in Bible teachers. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for all of you to step up to the plate now and help me. And if you take your, your positions, if you actually come in and take your positions and do what, what God has positioned you to do, then we can move. We can go across this nation like locusts. We can go across this nation like locusts. And I, I want to see us develop relationships with pastors. Um, my conference here on the 27th is to try to pull in as many pastors as possible. I am putting together a uh, special invitation for pastors. And those of you that know pastors, I'm going to give them to you for you to hand deliver them to pastors and invite them to that to that fast track. We want to try to get as many passes as possible. So Colleen, Carlene um, Leverage, let us see if we can nail down a place tomorrow. If it's not going to be here, it needs to be, I want to have it at a hotel. I have one, uh, a tentative one, amen, and if I have to use that one, I, I just have to use it. Um, but um, it'll seat 250 classroom style. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it costs nearly 2,000 U.S. dollars, but, I, you know, I'm, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. Because I, I want to get, I, want, I really don't want to have it in here because I want to be on neutral turf. I want to bring leaders in. And so I want to be on, a, on neutral ground. So if we have to pay that, we just have to pay it. All right. Are, th are there any other questions or comments? That's another agenda. It's just reminding the men that we have a shut-in tomorrow. You have a shut-in tomorrow night. Yes. Brothers. What time your shut-in start? S starts early at 6 something? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I was going to try to sneak in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Men are having a shut-in tomorrow, so let's not forget it. Are there any questions before I leave? Saints, y'all keep praying for me. Amen. Having a little bit uh, bout with this asthma and stuff, but um, I believe God. I believe God. And uh, I just wanted so much to be with you guys tonight. I'm so excited about this ministry. I'm excited about God. I really am. And you're just going to, you just, you know, we're just going to do what we got to do. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord, saints. Are we seeing ourselves better? Amen. Are we seeing our purpose better? Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm excited too, very excited um, to just see what God is doing. You know, a few hours before the scheduled meeting, some persons believed that Doc would not be here because the devil really, you know, attacked her. But I was so glad that she was able to come and share with us the heart and the mind of the Lord for this reformation. And that should be very energizing. Amen? Amen. So we need to continue to pray for Doc. We need to collect an offering, saints. We are, we are behind. And those of, those of us who have made pledges for the screen that we spoke about for Doc's house on Sunday, it is a good time also to come in with those monies. But we are behind with our expenses. So we're going to ask the deacons to come with the baskets as you just give God glory and we continue to worship in our giving unto the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. I really believe we need to just stand up and give God a great big clap offering or wave or something. Something that tells God, I'm glad you included me. Something that tells God that I'm glad that I'm saved and a part of the reformation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So come with the baskets, brothers. And um, we love a nice praise and worship and rejoicing song as we, we give on to the Lord. And please, everything that was said, it is so very, very important. Saints, we are not through. We're still worshiping. <laughs> 